What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So I reviewed a lot of different phone cases on my channel in the past, but I've been reluctant to review the most recent iteration of LifeProof cases, the LifeProof Free and the just released LifeProof Nude, which are available for a bunch of different devices. And I have them here for my iPhone 7 Plus. I've been reluctant to review them for one reason in particular, their price. For the 7 Plus, at least, the free comes in at $90, and the nude sells for $100. That's a lot of money for a phone case, but LifeProof cases have always been pretty expensive. That's no secret. I think when people do look at the prices of these cases, though, the big question that comes to mind is whether or not they're worth that hefty price tag, and that's the question I hope to answer with this video. Let's start out with the free, and this is a case that's been available for nearly every iteration of the iPhone, along with some other devices. It's a really well-known case. It's probably what LifeProof is most known for, I think. It's a completely sealed off, waterproof case that offers two meters of drop protection and a built-in screen protector for complete coverage across every inch of your device. And inside the box, you can see we get the case, of course, which is obviously a two-piece design. You also get this little tool here, which I'll talk about in a second, and the other usual stuff, like a cleaning cloth you can use on your phone before you seal it in the case, some stickers, and a warranty packet. The case comes with some pretty extensive instructions, mostly just so people know how to properly install it before or dunking their phone in water, which, let's be real, is probably the sole reason people buy this case, but installing it really isn't difficult. You just have to set the phone inside the front cover portion of the case, and then clamp down the back portion of the case over top of it. The key here is just making sure all the edges click together nice and snug, because you want it completely sealed, obviously. The case looks okay on the phone, I think, definitely noticeable, and hides every aspect of your phone from view, but it isn't any more bulky than a lot of other cases out there, even being a fully enclosed case. One thing you'll notice Notice is that glare though. The built-in screen protector is nice, super convenient, but it's not the best quality in the world in my opinion. So visibility is kind of subpar in certain light. Also worth noting, Touch ID is covered by a thin piece of cellophane, but it works just fine. The case itself is made of a combination of plastic and rubber around all the edges, and since everything is enclosed, down at the bottom you have a little flap covering the lightning port, which is a little annoying, but definitely necessary to keep it waterproof. Another annoyance with these cases that a lot of people have is with the sound quality. When making phone calls in particular, people have complained that either they couldn't hear the other person, or the other person couldn't hear them. And again, that stems from the case essentially covering all the speakers and mic. Sound does get let through, of course, but it'll be more muffled than you're used to. Aside from that though, you do get access to everything else you need, such as the cameras around back and buttons on the side. What you do have limited access to is the phone itself, and that's where this little tool comes in. Taking this case on and off is a struggle. You have to sort of forcefully unclamp it and peel it off. I know some people won't be taking the case on and off too often anyway, but it is worth mentioning. With all that other stuff being said, I think my biggest gripe overall with this case is just the build quality and materials. This shit's flimsy. No other way to say it. It just doesn't feel like you bought a $90 product, which is really unfortunate. The big selling point for the LifeProof Free is the fact that it's waterproof. It can handle up to 6.6 .6 feet of water for an hour, and in my brief light testing, I had no issues whatsoever. With the phone and case completely submerged, water never seemed to leak through, and when I picked my phone up out of the water, it worked just fine. And peeling off the case revealed a completely dry phone, so in that regard, the LifeProof Free did a great job. But the iPhone 7 Plus is water resistant, just on its own. Apple doesn't encourage you to submerge it, but it'll last just fine under most water related circumstances. The LifeProof case doesn't seem to be completely necessary, I guess, unless you plan on consistently having your phone in water for an extended period of time. So what about drop protection? LifeProof markets the free to be able to handle drops from 6.6 .6 feet, which is good. I mean, I threw my phone around a bit, and it ended up just fine. Nothing too extreme, but I have confidence that it would survive most day-to-day -day spills and falls. And the great thing about that built-in screen protector is when your phone is face down sliding around on an uneven surface, the case is taking all the damage. Unfortunately though, it's really apparent when the case does take the damage. The front screen protector scratches really easily, just from light use, and would be pretty noticeable over time. The free offers some decent protection. It's waterproof for your already water-resistant phone, and it'll handle drops and protects the screen, but for $90, I'm not sure that all of those things quite justify the price. So what about the LifeProof Nude? The Nude is $10 more at $100, and really the main thing that differentiates this case from the free is that you get no screen protection. Yeah, you're paying more for less. It still offers the same protection specs, you can dunk it in 2 meters of water, it's completely sealed from dirt and dust, it'll survive some decent drops, but you get to see your screen in all its glory without a screen protector. Inside the box, you get the 
the case of course, which is a similar two-piece design, a shell to test for water resistance, and all that other stuff that came with the free, like stickers, cleaning cloth, warranty booklet, and yes, that little tool again to help you get the case off. The Nude has even more instructions, and included is this plastic iPhone-shaped shell. You can use it on the case to test and make sure that the case is really waterproof before using it on your phone. It's handy, but I definitely won't be using it. I will say, as far as build quality goes, the case itself is way more solid and sturdy than the free. It certainly feels like a higher quality case overall, which I appreciate. Installing it works the same way, pop the phone in one side of the case and clamp down the other side over top of it. And once again, make sure all the edges are completely sealed. I'd say that this case has a little more bulk than the free, not by much though. But like I mentioned, it definitely feels nicer in the hand compared to the free, because it seems to be made to a much higher standard. The whole difference with the Nude is the screenless design of the case, so your bare phone screen is exposed, but everything else is completely completely sealed from top to bottom. Touch ID is covered with cellophane, the cameras around back and buttons on the side are protected, and similarly, the speakers are covered once again too, which may contribute to more muffled sounds. You also have that same flap on the bottom to cover the lightning port. As far as taking this case off, I didn't think it was possible, but this one is even more difficult to remove than the free. Like, I struggled trying to take the damn thing off, which is good, I mean it shows that the case is sealed and locked, which it needs to be, but I seriously thought I was going to break it after a while, but I didn't, and that's mainly because this case is really, really solid. Crazy sturdy, so as far as drop protection is concerned, protecting the phone is not an issue at all. There's also a decent lip or bump around the cases on the edge, so face down, the phone screen doesn't touch anything, and on rough surfaces, this case actually held up way better when it came to scratches. Once again, it's totally waterproof. Yes, the screen of your phone is exposed, but it doesn't matter if that gets wet on any phone, because it's just a piece of glass. Everything around it is sealed, which is the important part, but once again, I have to mention that in this case, the iPhone 7 Plus is relatively water resistant, so something like this may not be completely necessary, maybe more of an extra backup plan. So you've heard my thoughts on both the life-proof free and and life-proof nude cases, and I think you can pretty much guess what I'm about to say. For $90 or $100, I just don't think that spending that kind of money on these cases is worth it. There are countless other cases that are both waterproof and offer great drop protection at like half the cost, and with most phones nowadays, like the iPhone 7, Galaxy S7, and others, the phones will survive accidentally falling in the sink, or last when you decide to take a phone call in the shower. Granted, if you decide to go take some underwater pictures you might need this case, but aside from that, you can get a $20 or $30 case that offers just as good of protection and is probably made a little better too. Sorry LifeProof. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you think getting a LifeProof case is worth it in the comments below. Also, be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.